Hi, my name is Newell Davis with World Composting, and today is the last video I'm going to do of the bin that I've been trying to dry out. So let's take a look at this bin. I'm just going to bring you down here real quick. And as you can see here, it's getting some harder chunks in the top. It is starting to dry out. Um, worms are underneath these, to these top chunks, but it's not really drying out the way I want. I didn't want these big chunks. I've been moving it around a little bit, but it hasn't, it's still been drying in these large chunks. So this is, it worked, but it's not working great. It's not working the way I wanted. Um, the worms are really digging down in here. It's still in the bottom here. I mean, this is still really just soft material, but it's not, it's not drying out the way I want. Now, just to give everybody an idea of what I was look, hoping to get out of this when I did this, get all these worms off of me first, is I was hoping to get something like this. This is from one of my really good bins. And you can tell this material, this one has worms in it too because it's from the top, but it's just, it's light, it just flakes apart. I mean, if I shake it, it just, everything falls through my fingers essentially, except for where it's wet now from the other bin. And that's really what I'm looking for. That's really nice com vermicompost here or castings. This is just really easy to use. It's uh, easy to spread in a yard and it doesn't really clump up anywhere. So that's how I really was hoping that this would work. Uh, but it's not. It's not doing that at all. So this is not working the way I'm hoping. So I'm going to just go ahead and stop this experiment. It would eventually dry out, but it, in the process I'd probably end up killing all these worms as they dried out. So I'm just going to dump this and do my standard sorting that I would normally do. I'm not going to videotape that. I have other videos you can look to see that. But as you can see, the worms in here are still doing fine. There's still some food in here too, but uh, it just... Uh, this isn't working how I wanted to. I was really hoping that this would really kind of dry out a little bit more than this. So I'm going to go ahead and sort these worms, add them to other bins, and keep going on. But uh, So this is not a solution, by the way, what I'm saying with this is not a good solution for drying out a bin. This has been going on for a long time. It really hasn't done a great job. And on top of that, it's really not fully working. I mean, like, this is not falling apart at all when I shake it in my hands. That's what I really would like. So that's my last update for this. It's been going on now for, I think, almost two months or longer, and it's still not dry even. Uh, the other th I have heard other suggestions, and I will maybe try some of those on some of the other bins. Like, I've got another bin below this that uh, is getting a little bit wet, too. And that happens with these bins. These bins are great for starting out, I feel. They're just very convenient. They're cheap. But if you really are going after your castings and you want your castings to look like this, where it's just they just flake apart... It's just you, you can't use this method. You're not going to get there. You're going to need a bin that has a flow through and has good airflow to keep, make sure that it never gets bogged down and wet like this. Now, this is good for other stuff, too. I mean, I will mix this in, and I, what I do with a lot of my stuff after I sort it when it's like this is I mix it in with water, and I put an air pump in there, and I aerate it like crazy. Um, you can put molasses in there and things like that and, and you know to get the bacterial growth up, and then I put that and just spread that in my yard. Uh, I should say, for me, I spread it near my trees, but that's what I do a lot with this stuff. But I just, I was hoping to get some more fine stuff so I could add it to uh, the, some of the bins that I have outside that are uh, like planters, I should say, the planters that I have outside, you know, which I don't want this, you know, this type of stuff in there really. I don't want it to be like all big and chalky like this, you know, where it's your, you know, these chunk, these huge chunks like this. I don't want that in there that I have to spread out. I really want it to be kind of like a fine dusting that I'm putting on top that I can get wet. So that's my update for this uh, this bin. It's my final update. We're going to finish this bin off. I'm not going to put any more stuff in here. These worms are going to be added to other bins, maybe uh, my some of my flow-through bags that I have going now because those are starting to, to get a little bit full, and you know they, I figured that they could probably handle the extra worms. But we'll see. I, I just, I'm, I'm trying to pare down the, the amount of bins I have. I still have you know quite a few, and I need to start sorting them out. So I will continue to try different ways of drying these out, but this is, this way doesn't work. It's a it's a thumbs down for this. So I hope you enjoyed these this video series, and please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.